Welcome everybody. Um, this is a demonstration on how to use the Signing Platform Studio to implement a MicroBlaze processor on the Spartan 6 FPGA device. I have with me a test board uh, featuring the Spartan 6 FPGA from Xilinx, uh, and it also includes a lot of peripherals, um, of which I will show how to to interface. Um, the first thing naturally you do is to start up the Silence Platform Studio, uh, and then uh, when it's finished, you will get this screen where you can press Create New Project using Base Building, Base System Builder. So press here, and you need to set a name for your new project. So browse and go to wherever you want to save it. So I'm putting it in Recordings, um, XPS, Microplace. Rec remember every every well, always to to uh, leave these underscores instead of using a space. Uh, Silence is not too happy about spaces in uh, directory names and file names. So in here, and then uh, we say here, recording. So, and you press save. Um, you can select whether, you're, uh, whether you want to use the um, AXI um, bus or the PLB bus. Um, the PLB version uh, 46 is sort of, well, it's being phased out. So I would recommend going for the AXI system instead. With this, you're OK, so you, you just press OK here. So now you need to set up your system. And in my case, luckily the board that I'm using uh, from University of Southern Denmark, it's always been uh, been ported to to Silence. So I select this board, and I choose to create a single microplace processor system. Um, down here you can set whether you want to optimize for for area or for throughput. So it depends a little bit. Um, if if your FPGA is rig rigorously big. You can just go for throughput, but but if you have some constraints in terms of space, it might be uh, beneficial for you to use the area optimization strategy. So we say next, and then you can set up a lot of parameters on the processor. So first of all, you can set the processor frequency and the speed. So we just set that for for maximum. You can uh, select whether you want to have the floating point unit in it, and you can set some parameters on the memory. So so this is the memory implemented in block RAM on the FPGA. So of course you have some some limited uh, in terms of the size of the FPGA you're using. Down here, uh, since this board is known by Silings, it has the peripherals listed that are on the board. And and um, over here, is, the list is of those have, who have been included in this project. And um, I'm fine with this standard, so I have some dip switches, I have some uh, LEDs, uh, and I have a UART, and, and it's fine with me. So I'll just press finish. So what Silence does now is to generate my entire project and implementing the the processor in it. It doesn't do um, the synthesizing of the system yet. Um, it will it will come later in the project, but now it's just putting everything together and setting it up. So I'll just be pausing here and uh, return when uh, when it's finished. So Silence has now finished uh, setting up the base of things, um, and what you see here is the is the screen of the uh, XPS platform uh, software. So in the middle here we have a list of all the interfaces, and you can see we have some microblades um, connected to, to the block RAM. We have our debugging module, and then we have our peripherals, the dip switches, the LEDs, and the UART. And as you can see over here, they have all been connected to the AXI bus. This um, over here is a catalog of all the IP cores that can be inserted into the processor. Uh, we will look at that in another video. Um, and over here we have the commands that we need to to run in order to to get this working. So basically, what we have here is a a setup of a processor 
uh, which is ready to be uh, synthesized uh, to be put onto the FPGA. But a processor doesn't work too well without any software. So what we're going to do now is to export our design to the Xilinx SDK, which is um, their software implementation package. It's, it's more or less a folk on Eclipse. Uh, so it looks similar. Um, however, here it has been implemented into the Xilinx package so that it works together with the FPGA uh, and, and the Xilinx lab library and uh, it is able to compile software to the microblaze processor. So when uh, when I press here, I'm asked either to export only or I want to export and launch the SDK. And um, I press launch, uh, export and launch. Uh, so now there's a lot of work to be done because Silence now starts to generate the bit file for the FPDA, um, in, which includes the microblaze processor. So it has to go through all, the entire process of synthesizing our, our project. When that's done, um, everything ha it will be exported to the SDK. Um, and, and from the SDK, we will then upload the bit file to the FPDA and upload our software to the microblaze processor on the FPGA and run it. Um, so I will be I'll be uh, pausing now and returning when uh, when Silent is ready again. So welcome back. Um, the uh, SDK tool has now been uh, almost started. Uh, the XPS has finished uh, synthesizing everything. Um, so now we need to set a, <coughs> a workplace uh, where all of our software for the microblaze process uh, will be placed. Um, and, and I'm not happy with this location, so I'll go browse. Uh, and then within the directory, uh, directory where I just uh, saved my entire project, so it's this recording SPS microblaze. In here, I would like to create a folder called work uh, please for my software so okay so now i have this and i say okay for this so now it will start up the silence sdk and as you might see this is quite similar to what you know from um, from Eclipse. So let's maximize this window. Um, so the first thing you need to do is to set up a project for your software. So you're setting up an application project, um, which you would have to give a name. So we can call it recording test. Um, and it uh, will automatically create your target software setup. Um, you have to select whether you want C or C++. I choose C and you are setting here which platform. This is the one I've been uh, exported from XPS and to which processor you're targeting. So you press next and you have the possibility to set up some um, templates for projects. I want to use an empty application. So a C blank C project. So, recording test, my C project is up here. It has been generated, uh, but it doesn't include any files yet because it's empty. So you right click up here, new, and then new source file. You set a name, remember to name it .c, so it knows it, it recognizes it as a C file, and you put it into record, uh, record and test and you press finish. And there you have your C code, or at least the file for it. So I have uh, an example C code here with some uh, software um, that I want to put in here. I won't go into what this software does, uh, other than say that it 
can flip some dip switches and light up some LEDs based on this. <clears throat> this is not the interesting thing. So we, we press save, so control S, R, go to save. And when saving, uh, it's set to automatically compile the file. So if any errors, uh, it will show up now. But it finished OK. So we are now ready to take this software and upload it to our uh, FPDA. Um, so what we do is, firstly we go to Silence Tools and then Program FPGA. So what this does is it uploads our system bit file and it places uh, the microblaze processor into a boot loop that enables us afterwards to upload our software and run it. So now we just press Program. So that's done. Um, and then we need to run our software. Now the CPU is, is fairly blank, so it doesn't have any software. So what we do is we press here, run as, and we want to launch the software on our hardware, and we press OK. So now the software has been, uh, been downloaded to our microblaze processor, and it has started running. Um, and that's it. So Whenever you do some changes here, you then just do run recording test, already running it says now, but if you press run again, uh, it will upload um, a new one, and you just do that, and then you can debug your system. So, whenever you're done with this uh, software uh, debug and getting everything working nicely, you, uh, you, you can quit this SDK. And the the software which have been done by the well done by you for for this microblaze processor, you will then like to have instantiated into the bit file so that whenever you're programming the FPGA with the bit file, it also contains the software so that the processor automatically starts up the software whenever the bit file is programmed onto the FPGA. And the way to do this is to go to microblaze so back to the SDK uh, XPS uh, software and then s select project and go L file and you have your microblaze uh, zero core and you have an impl uh, implementation ex ex executable and you have a simulation executable uh, so we take our implementation executable and browse and then we want to find our uh, software and it's compiled into something called uh, .elf uh, and it's within the workplace folder for where we placed all of our software from the SDK um, and we go to record and test and debug and here we have our record and test .elf file so we double click here and this is now here so in order to regenerate our bit file uh, we go up here and say uh, update bitstream with software information and then the the micro or uh, the silence tools start synthesizing everything together so that the software becomes part of the the, um, the bit file doesn't take long and then we go program the fpga so we're downloading the bitstream to the fpga um, and wait for it to finish and when it's done the, the microblaze processor will be running with the software that you just developed in the XPS tool. So that's it. So this were a guide on how to uh, set up a project in the XPS uh, system, um, have a microblaze processor running with some peripherals, um, write some software to it, or how to, to start up the XPS system for that, debug the system, um, and then afterwards implementing your project or your, your software into the bit file so that whenever you're programming the FPGA with the entire project, also the software for the microblaze processor will be part of this software so that the microblaze processor will start the software whenever it's programmed. 
So thank you for listening. Bye bye.